I'm puff, I'm blowing your house. I was fun, so we blow. <laughs> What you're seeing on screen is a microwave radiation meter. Question is, how do we reduce our dosage of Zs? What we tried was mobile phone protectors, but do they work? Are they worth buying and can you trust them? Well, let's find out. We ran a comparative test with three of them against a mobile phone with none of them. If they work, there should be a difference. Note that as the phone calls go along, at the beginning the level starts very high and over time it naturally comes down. So tip one, stick on mobile protectors, do not protect. So what does? Tin foil can actually block the microwaves totally. Tin foil worked the best. But it's not very practical is it? We tried wired headphones. These didn't help because the radiation just ran all the way up the wires to your heads. Bluetooth was worse than we expected. When you're on a call it was generating 20 Zs. Off a call just on standby, almost 10. It's like being on a constant phone call. Speakerphone actually made a big difference. The further away your phone or device is, the lower the level you're going to get. The less than you might get in the street or in a pram. Tip two, put your phone on loudspeaker and keep it distant from you. The further the better. Distance is an important factor in reducing your exposure. But what about those around you? What if there's children nearby? What can you do? As a final test, we're going to demonstrate how you can use your body to save your child or other children in the community from your mobile phone's radiation. Calling. This side, now I use my head to block it, this side. In conclusion, phone protectors do not reduce your microwave radiation exposure. Stick your phone, speaker phone, away from you. Use your phone on the side of your head, away from your child.